The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, attendees. My name is Yvonne Bradshaw, and uh, it's time for the next webinar, which is named Pandora's Box Manager Watch Folder and Widget Designer Integration. Uh, in this webinar today, my uh, colleague Mike is also here to answer your questions in the chat. Hello, Mike. Hello, everyone. Enjoy the webinar. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Um, so uh, please feel free to ask questions. Um, I will do my best as well. And uh, yes, uh, this webinar will be recorded and updated to our um, Pandora's Box YouTube channel. So I would say let's start. What are our topics today? Second. Okay. So yes, uh, in the beginning, I will uh, give you an overview about the watch folders in Pandora's Box and Widget Designer. So how to create it in Pandora's Box how to use it, and uh, especially in widget design as well. Uh, then from version 6.4 in Pandora's Box, there is a really nice feature to combine a Pandora's Box playlist uh, to a watch folder quite easily. That uh, This would be the next step. Uh, last but not least, I would give you an idea how to integrate a custom photo gallery by using these tools. So by the watch folder and um, by the Pandora's box playlist. Yes. Um, so. And now, so what is a watch folder? A watch folder monitors changes of a specific folder in your file system. So you can add a folder to your file system in the File Explorer and uh, link this folder to your Pandora's box folder in your project tab. So if you add media files to this um, uh, folder, then the media files will uh, transfer automatically to your Pandora's box project. If you like, you can, able, uh, you can enable to include the uh, subfolders or um, there's an option to decide what should happen uh, when you remove media files from the um, folder. So if you have a connected client, you can say, please remove also uh, the files from my client machine. That would make sense to save um, some space storage. Okay. Now I would like to show you how to create a watch folder in Pandora's box. First is uh, to select the folder in the project tab and have a look in the Pandora's box inspector. Set the button uh, named browse and a window appears to choose a watch folder in your file system. Then after the selection uh, the path is listed here, and here are some checkboxes. Please do not forget to tick the checkboxes. Um, I will give you some information about the checkboxes um, after I open Pandora's box. So let's do it together. I open Pandora's box now. Um, yes. So how to create a watch folder? You go to your project tab, select your title, make a right click and say add folder. So you could enter a name like test watch folder. <clears throat> select the folder and have a look here in the inspector. Here you've seen it before, the field for the watch folder um, and press browse. Okay, so I navigate to a folder, see Christy content. Of course, I have prepared an empty watch folder before, <laughs> named watch, here. Let's check it also in the file explorer. So here is my empty watch folder. 
So, and in my Pandora's box project, now the icon of the folder in the project tab has changed. So now I can see, uh -huh, here is a watch folder because of the I. Okay, so let's try it out. Um, here under content, I've prepared some images and videos. So I could mark some images, go back to my watch folder, paste them inside. And wait some moment. Yes, here. Activate thumbnails here. My images are inside of the watch folder. Yeah, perfect. And yes, the checkboxes. Don't forget to tick the checkboxes. So if I uh, want to add subfolders with uh, videos, images, audio files, uh, then you have to enable the subfolder checkbox. Um, the second checkbox, remove files from project on delete, means if I remove here, yeah, I, oops, so remove the files. So if I remove the images here, then the images have been deleted here as well. Let's try it out with the subfolder, content, images and videos. Copy the images folder and go to my watch folder. Yeah. Paste it here. <clears throat> Have a look in the Pandora's Box project tab. Here is my folder. Here we are. So all images are inside. Yes, quite easy to set up a watch folder in Pandora's box. Um, let's go back to my presentation. So, um, yes, I have explained how to set up a watch folder, explained the uh, checkboxes here um, below. And there are also some uh, important checkboxes regarding watch folder. Under the configuration tab, under global resources. So here's a checkbox, monitor changes to files on disk. Um, this checkbox is enabled um, per default. So if you start from the box, um, then it's uh, activated. Um, so please um, tick the checkbox if um, you want to use watch folders. If you if the checkbox is uh, deselected, then the watch folder uh, workflow uh, doesn't work. And then auto spread resources after change to file. Um, so if you change the file, um, so you add some files to it and it's the same name, um, then um, the files will be spreaded automatically your, uh, to your connected client machine. Yes, so two checkboxes. Um, this checkbox has to be enabled and the second box, yes, if you like, you can enable it. Uh, yes, are there any questions so far, Mike? Yes, so we got a question here. Um, can you use the network drive for a watch folder? Uh, yes, you can um, enter the IP address. So if the um, other device is in the same IP range, uh, then you could enter the IP address and the, and the related path um, to access the network folder. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, the next topic is playlists. A Pandora's box playlist. So here with the playlist, you have a quick and convenient way to play media files in row. So you don't need to program separate containers. So if you want to fade between uh, two media files, then normally you have to use two layer. 
so for the first uh, media file and the second and you program um, a crossfade so with the playlist uh, you uh, can only use one layer and you have also crossfades in between um, I will show it to you now a quick overview about the playlist so same workflow as before right click add playlist so select the playlist uh, have a look in the inspector, open in resource editor so we can see it's an empty playlist. And uh, yeah, let's add some images to it. So we could mark some images, for example, place them inside. So you can use images, videos, image sequences, um, what you like to play back and then you will handle it like a normal content file so you select the playlist and drag it to your layer so preview here is my Honduras box output And you see here is a green highlight. So the next image fades in. Per default, uh, the images um, have a duration of 10 seconds. You can change the duration in the configuration tab. Um, yes, if you add a video file, um, then the related duration is displayed. Let's have a look. Um, uh, just images. I take a video to it. Images and videos. Yeah, some artbeat videos. Mm -hmm. Videos. Yes. So here now it's. Um, eight uh, seconds and 13 frames. So images is a default duration and of course videos have related uh, file duration included. The fade time is uh, two seconds by default. If you like, you can change it. Um, yes, the crossfade, uh, there are some options to select different fades and you can define an in and out point. So that makes sense for video files or image sequences. Yes. So yes, the question is now, how to link a Pandora's box playlist to a watch folder? Uh, I've talked before, so there's a quite easy way in the new Pandora's Box version 6.4, the 64-bit version, to link the Pandora's Box playlist to a watch folder. So, my playlist, so I close it here. I rename my um, playlist now, then it's easier for me to find playlist new and my watched folder I would say we add oh yeah images are fine for the moment okay so select the test watch folder uh, have a look in the Pandora's box inspector and here is a drop down list for the connected playlist so no playlist selected yet um, I have prepared some playlists before, so my new playlist is named Playlist New. Select the playlist. Mm -hmm. And now all the images plus the images I've added before are in, uh, inside of my playlist now. Or I create 
a new playlist, playlist two, and I say, okay, no, uh, I would like to um, select, I would like to link another playlist to my watch folder, playlist number two, and ta-da, all files are inside of my playlist quite fast. Yes, any questions? No, right now there are no more questions. Okay, thank you. So now um, you have seen I um, added the files manually of, um, to my watch folder here via the file browser. There are some more options, of course, to transport files to a watch folder or to Pandora's box. Um, therefore, we go to the widget designer application. The uh, first way. So, okay. Um, and my presentation. Here. So, um, now I would like to show you the tree view widget in Widget Designer. So, there you can browse and manage data on your local PC. So, either you select the file system or you select the source, the Pandora's box source. Um, and you have the option, that, that's a really nice feature, to use it in a web client to transmit files from an external device to your local machine. That means imagine uh, for the next upcoming project, uh, the user wants to upload incoming photos from an external device to Pandora's box. Let's say you have a tablet um, and uh, there are um, photos inside and you would like to transfer them to Pandora's box. So yeah, that's possible with the tree view. Um, I, uh, so I will show it to you here on my local PC. Get started. The tree view is listed here under widgets, tree view. Open the item properties. So here in the properties, you have a drop-down list for the source, the file system. So here I have the file system or directly the Pandora's box project tree. So I am already connected. So the widget designer is already connected to my Pandora's box project. Um, here is the file structure. From Pandora's box. So, and now you can use the widget designer in a browser like Chrome or Firefox. Um, so, oh, sorry, I go back and select file system. Okay, so let's go to my browser here. So I only need to enter the um, correct naming here for my widget designer project. If you are uh, using the widget designer, for example, with the tablet, you have to uh, be in the same IP range. Enter here the related IP range and the related page. So here is my page for the tree view. I have access to the um, file um, structure. And now I could go to Christy content watch folder and say, I would like to add some files to my watch folder. A right click, there are some options. Add file to add file from the file system and a separate option to load it to Pandora's box to the project tab automatically to create a new folder, to delete an item or to refresh the tree. For this moment, we go for add file. 
So a new window appears, select the folder. So now I could say, I will add Artbeats 30 to my watch folder. So press submit and finish. So let's check my watch folder and Artbeat 30 is placed in my file explorer and hopefully also in Pandora's box. Text watch folder, yes, here it is. So quite easy way to transfer files from an external device to your local machine. And yes, in combination with the watch folder, or you can also uh, use the option add file and Pandora's box. Uh, da, 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 da. Watch, yes, add file and load to Pandora's box without using a watch folder. Content. So, and I take 80. Open. Here it is. Mm -hmm. And RPX 18 is here as well. So it will be transferred to the um, um, to the project name. So there's not a specific folder. Yes. So a way to transmit the files to a uh, local machine from an external device or directly to Pandora's box with the watch folder or without the watch folder. And another nice option is to use shared folders. So the same, so um, the user, um, or there are several users, they uh, make some photos um, on uh, an exhibition or on a the project, theater, and uh, the photos should be uploaded to a shared folder and then they should be uh, transferred automatically to Pandora's box. So yes, the shared folder, for example, Dropbox, OneDrive, Google Drive, whatever. Uh, and I will show you how to link a shared folder to a Pandora's box watch folder. Yes. First, a workflow for a Google Drive shared folder. What have you do before? So you, uh, yes, of course, you need an account for Google Drive. Uh, you download the Google Drive application on your local machine. Um, uh, and then you log in with your account. And the important point here in the end is select the local file path for Google Drive folder. So therefore you decide uh, which path should be used. So I have prepared a Google Drive folder under C Christy content Google Drive. So here is a Google Drive um, folder on my local machine. So if I go to uh, online and have a look in my account, I will see the images folder here as well. So if I remove this folder, then the folder should be removed here as well. So maybe the internet connection is not really good at the moment. Okay, no problem. So I will move it here manually. Maybe I deactivated before. So 
but that would be the way so you can add files remove files and it is linked to your folder on the local pc um, directly so now let's add some files to the google drive folder take some images copy the files and place them in the Google Drive folder. Mm -hmm. So, ah, I was one step too fast because, ah no, it was correct. Uh -huh. Because I've prepared it in Pandora's box, uh, it's the same workflow as before to create a test, uh, to create a watch folder in Pandora's box. Here under webinar, I have a, a watch folder, Google Drive. Under attributes of folder, you can find here my linked folder, C, Christie, Content, Google Drive. So, and my images are here inside so it's the same workflow as before because it's listed here as a normal folder okay any questions no you can go on okay thank you Okay, so we have learned how to set up a watch folder in Pandora's box, how to uh, use the uh, linking between a watch folder and playlist, how to uh, use the tree view and widget designer in combination with Pandora's box, and how to use a shared folder in combination with the watch folder. And now the next topic is the watch folder in widget designer because there's also a watch folder it's a, a note based watch folder um it, it's uh, placed under notes input file system watch folder um here are uh, two fields the first field is regarding the path so you select, uh, so you can enter a path here or you browse a path for the uh, specific watch folder you would like to set. And the second field is the interval in milliseconds. That means how often the node should check for changes. And here in the end, a file count number, how many fi uh, files are located in this uh, folder. So let's have a look in widget design. The watch folder node is on the notes, input, file system, watch folder. Okay. So let's go for the Google Drive folder under C, Christy. Google Drive. Okay. So, 20 files. Let's check it. 23. I assume um, I have to disable my camera because it uh, takes too much performance. <laughs> um, so I will activate the camera in the end again, <laughs> but then maybe it works better. Okay. So, <clears throat> Connected to output info node. Mm -hmm. And check what happens when I 
select all and place the images to my Google Drive folder. Okay. <clears throat> yes, 40. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <clears throat> 40 files in it. Yes, the output is uh, file count and file path. Here you can only see the value, that's correct, um, because um, it uh, outputs a list with the included file path. To uh, see what's inside, you can connect an output variable output node for the list variable. So that means we need a global list variable. Let's create it here under scripting variables. Create, right click, create list. Um, watch Google Drive separator. I use the comma. Okay. Open the item properties. I've uh, prepared some variables before. So I use watch Google Drive, file path. Okay, and now you see, uh -huh, uh, the file paths are listed. Here I can only see one. So uh, I will use the debug message command to display all file paths for you. Um, I go for for loop, start with zero because the first position of a list uh, starts from zero to uh, watch Google Drive point. So the number minus one and the brackets. So debug message. Let's check what's inside of the list. Okay. Ta -da -da. So here. Um, the five passes, it's a string value inside of the list with all five passes inside. Yeah. That's the output of the watch folder input node, the file count number and the five path list. Very useful for other programming. Let's explain it later. Mm -hmm. So, and now, um, please be careful when you're using um, a shared folder in combination with the watch folder in widget designer, because sometimes it happens that there are hidden files inside of the folder. Um, and, uh, ah, yes, I can remember now, that was the reason uh, why the number of file counts was not correct. Um, because there are hidden files inside. Let's go to the file explorer and enable under view hidden items. Here are, here's a um, hidden folder and a hidden uh, file inside. So now, if I go back to widget designer, open my custom script button again, test here. Here you can find the hidden file, the desktop ini file. So it's no image, it's not very useful for my project. That means please be careful and um, yes, as a workaround, you could create a subfolder inside of the Google Drive folder or 
uh, you uh, program a logic uh, to remove or to ignore the hidden files. So my workflow is to create a subfolder because that's easier and faster for this moment. Okay. So now I have the Google Drive folder. Here are my um, hidden files. I can ignore them because I only use the images folder here. That means I changed my path to see Christy content Google Drive images. So 39. Now it's correct. Because the INI file is not included anymore. Yeah, just PNG files. Great. Yes. Take care of hidden files in the shared folder. Any questions regarding the watch folder input node and the related output values? No, there was just a question about uh, playlists. Uh, I already answered that one. Okay, thank you. So, and uh, last but not least, I will give you now an idea how to integrate a custom photo gallery in Widget Designer by using these tools. So by using the widget, uh, the watch folder input node and the Pandora's box playlist. So yes, of course, there are several ways to achieve this. Um, but I will explain my workflow um i go to my widget designer project and go to my photo gallery so here are my images maybe they are too much so that's enough and no color bars Okay, and now import photos. Yes, so one after the other will um, so appears here in my widget designer project. Um, I've connected the watch folder to the Google Drive folder. And now I have the option to select images which I want to use for my photo gallery. So. I select the images uh, and then they should be displayed on my Pandora's box output. So make a left mouse click. You see here a border appears, it's selected, or I deselect the image. So I can select more here, one, two, three, and here maybe deselect one. Yes, so we are fine. My selection is done. And now the next step is to push the images to my Pandora's box playlist. So I have selected seven files. And here the now pointer jumps automatically to my playlist photo gallery. And here's a background and in the foreground uh, the playlist is running. Uh, yes, the now pointer is here and the playlist is set to free run mode. That's the reason why it plays automatically in free run. Select the playlist, reveal in project tree, open a resource editor. Here is my selection, seven files. So, and I've added a reset gallery button to reset all. So then I go back, the playlist disappears, 
and there are no media files in the playlist anymore. So what is my workflow? Um, go to my presentation. So the photo gallery workflow. First, uh, use a watch folder input node. Mm -hmm. Uh, here is my notes page and my little programming for the watch folder notes. So it's the same as before. I select here my um, watch folder path. I've added a global um, integer variable to save the file count number and I have added a global list variable watch elements to save all file paths to um, this list. Here I have added a list view um, there uh, I will talk about later. So yes, so watch folder check Check the Google Drive path here, some images. Okay, fine. Go back to the photo gallery page. So let's check the second step. Use watch folder input node is done. So now define the custom script positions for X and Y. So I uh, am using uh, custom script buttons, so toggle, uh, toggle custom script buttons for the images, for click image and highlight image. Um, therefore, I have created some custom script buttons before and they were not visible. I will show it to you now. So, uh, first I will move the custom script buttons here. And this button is a macro. Here I've entered the start ID and end ID. So I now the start ID is 100 and the end ID is 223. Um, tiny for loop to uh, delete the custom script buttons. So they, are, they were not visible. Um, it makes more sense when you see it now. So, and uh, create custom script button here I can enter this custom script start ID. In this case, it's 100. Mm -hmm. So this macro copies the custom script number four from page button position to page photo gallery. So this is page photo gallery. Later we go to the um, page uh, button position. So what uh, are we doing here? So we have two local variables for the X and Y position. I get the left and top position, the X and Y position from custom script number four. Let's go to this page, button position. Here is my button, this default button, custom script number four. This button is uh, the start button, the start position for my photo gallery. And then I copy this button, WD control copy, uh, number four, take the X and Y position and copy the button to my photo gallery page with the new uh, custom script button ID here. I've entered 100. So it starts with 100 and around it increases by one. Um, the X position, so the distance between the next button should be 200 pixels. And the distance between um, the next uh, row should be also 200 pixels. So for example, and then set after the uh, first row, 
set the um, custom script exposition to the default value because it starts here from the left side again. Okay, so now it's visible. Go back to the photo gallery. And now I create the custom scripts. So I prepare my photo gallery because I've set a maximum number uh, for the photo gallery images. So here the uh, buttons will add it to my page. But um, they should be not visible for the first moment. That's the reason why I have here the toggle visible button. So, and what is inside? Um, so this button will be copied to uh, the photo gallery page and it should be not visible. Photo gallery, create custom script. Let's check the running scripts here under scripting, show running scripts. Here you can see my macro create custom script button is still running. So now it's finished. So I now here are some custom script buttons. I can also check it here under view widget explorer. And now, okay, the page page. So it's photo gallery and here I have the custom script button number 100 and it ends here. So fine, the custom script buttons have been added to my photo gallery page. Okay, so the next step is so use watchful input now, define custom script button position, create a global integer variable for the number of elements, uh, already done with the uh, output variable node, then create global list variable for the elements path, yes, done. Now the logic to add images to widget design. Okay. Let's check here. Um, import photos. So here I've added uh, a macro. Go to definition, add photos. So at first, I clear the playlist in Pandora's box to be sure that the playlist is empty. And then I set the images to the related buttons. So start button ID is 100. Here the button ID. Uh, watch elements is the name of the list with the watch folder file path name. So you can remember I have added an um, variable output node to the watch folder to save the values, the file path values into a list variable. So, and now the number of watch files, the file count number, I've added a for loop and then step by step for each image, I add the image to the click image and uh, the release image for the custom script button. That means here we click and release image. If it's added here, I will show it to you as well. So yeah, um, add the file path to the uh, click image and release, then increase the button ID by one the start value is 100, so 101, 102, 103, and so on. Then <clears throat> make the buttons visible. 
but just the buttons which uh, have an image inside. So uh, project dot custom script here hundred start ID plus E point visible equal two. So make the buttons visible. Then um, increase the file ID as well and reset the file ID in the end. It's for the Pandora's box playlist. Okay. So close it. Google Drive images. Maybe ah, move this one. Okay. So import photos. So, you know, the custom script buttons are already here, just the images will be set. So the file pass to the custom script button. <clears throat> here in the button styles, release and click, as you can see, the, uh, the file pass is set. So, and now here is the same scripting as before in the custom script button number four, because you can remember, I have copied this button um, several times on page photo gallery. So it's the same scripting inside. Go back to photo gallery. So what happens here? Close this. So, okay. I have a global variable current ID um, and it uh, and a context widget ID. So the current ID saves uh, the actual uh, custom script ID from the custom script I have uh, selected, then I enable a CSS style for the blue border. The CSS style is listed here. So enable the CSS style on an on-press script and disable the uh, border, the CSS there when I um, press it again. Here is also a global variable because I save the ID for the custom script button, which will be removed from my selection. A remove ID, a global integer variable. So. I save the ID here and the current ID and the remove ID. Then I call uh, next macro add photo list with the current ID here on top. Go to definition. It needs the parameters for the ID, current ID, and um, the global string variable saves the file paths from my list. And then I add the file paths from my watch elements list variable to another list named photo selection. So I, I've created a second list just for the photo selection and add the file paths inside. Then, uh -huh, here at file pass to list view on page node access, uh, you can remember my list view. There, I add the file pass and the custom script button ID for my selected images. Let's check it together. So, I select here three images, check my notes page, and you see here. In the beginning, I uh, have uh, selected one image and deselected it. So um, it adds a removed line. The image is removed and I add three more files to it. 
So photo gallery, if I deselect this image and go back to notes page, this image is also removed. Yeah, so here in my list view, I save the selected images, the path and the custom script ID. So photo gallery page. So now I can select some files. And now the last action is to push uh, the images to my Pandora's box playlist. Here I have also a global integer variable and a function called number images. So this function returns the number of the selected images for my photo gallery. Uh, a local uh, list variable image select list is for my selected um, uh, images. Um, and here I have a for loop to check is the row uh, zero, then break. Then I go, uh, I check the, my list view, the cells. If it's greater than zero, please append this image to my list variable. And in the end, I just return the uh, count number uh, from my list variable. So, and I go to the photo gallery active page and call a next macro add selected photos. Okay, a little bit more programming, but not so difficult. So, I are here. The custom script clicks um, are the user clicks onto the buttons because they uh, are also very helpful to, for my list view to check how many uh, files are needed for my photo gallery. Here are just two labels which I set to uh, visible. And uh, next for loop uh, from one to the custom script clicks. I check the uh, cell in my list view. If it's zero, then do nothing. If it's greater than zero and it's um, and the text is not set to removed, then add the selected photos to my uh, Pandora's box folder in my project tab. So resource add to project path. I uh, use the value uh, of my list view, add a folder and file ID to my Pandora's box project folder under webinar photo gallery selected. So this folder is meant here, photo gallery selected. At the moment, the um, folder is empty. But after executing this macro, the files will be added and it also adds a folder and file ID for each image. So, um, and in the end, add selected files to Pandora's box playlist. Yeah, that's an example um, uh, of uh, how to copy or to transfer the images to my Pandora's box playlist without using a watch folder in Pandora's box. That's the reason why I've added here the command resource Pandora's box playlist add items by ID. So all selected images will be transferred to the Pandora's box playlist with the related folder and file ID. Then last but not least, now pointer jumps to a specific queue and set the state to play. Okay, let's go to my project. So push to Pandora's box playlist, selected files five, and the playlist is running. So now open the folder here, you can see 
the images are inside with the related folder and file ID. And the playlist is playing. Great. The Reset Gallery button includes a Reset Gallery macro. And it just set the uh, variables to the default state or um, yeah, make the labels to visible faults. Uh, fade out the um, Pandora's box sequence, clear all cells in my list view, remove all items in the Pandora's box playlist, and also removes the um, values in my list variable. Then removes the media in my Pandora's box project, set default, uh, set the value to default state. And yes, of course, uh, because, uh, sorry, <laughs> you have a toggle custom script button and uh, some of the buttons are in uh, pressed mode, some are in release mode. Um, the default state is to, uh, is the release mode without executing the commands inside. And the last one is to make all buttons um, to make the visibility to false. Yes, from the photo gallery. And then go to the photo gallery page. So a reset gallery function to set all values to default. And reset gallery. Yes. So let's check my presentation. Yeah. We have added a logic to add images to widget designer, a logic to add the selected images to Pandora's box to a folder and then to the Pandora's box playlist. And you need a logic to reset all of your values. Yes, that was my workflow for the photo gallery. Any questions? I think all is clear. Uh, you did a great job at explaining. So great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, then uh, we are at the end of my presentation. Uh, there's some useful information for you. Uh, so the uh, webinars uh, can be uh, found on our YouTube channel, Pandora's Box Learn. Uh, please also um, visit our Pandora's Box Forum uh, to add ideas for the next webinars. Um, that would be great. And the webinar schedule uh, is placed on our website with date and time, and you will find it on Facebook as well. Yes, help file uh, to find uh, useful information um, about Pandora's Box and Widget Designer. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay healthy. Have a nice weekend. If you have some questions um, after this webinar, I will wait uh, a few minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you also from my side. Goodbye.